Hi folks, welcome to the Series Project. Today's video is about making a machinist jack. I saw a couple of videos uh, with a number of different designs for a uh, machinist jack and I thought this would be a good project for me to continue to practice working on the lathe. So I uh, uh, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, you're going to see me uh, make a mistake or two, uh, but uh, follow along. It's uh, kind of a neat couple hour machinist project. Thanks. All right, here we go, cleaning up some uh, 12L14 and uh, center drilling the uh, threaded hole for the inside of the jack. I'm just going to start the the tap here and then uh, do the rest by hand as you can see. Just wanted to get it in straight. Uh, clean up the top here a little bit, get the burr off of the threaded hole, and now you're going to see me start to cut the taper. As you can see in the picture in picture here, I wanted you to be able to see what I'm doing with my hands uh, in a little bit with the cross feed and then cut the taper with the compound over and over. I want to apologize for the video quality here. I, I could not tell while I was shooting this that the camera had focused at the bottom of the tray instead of on the part, but I think you can still follow the action here. Uh, it's a little out of focus for this phase of the uh, video. But uh, you'll see I'll get into a routine here of dab of oil, make a cut, adjust, and do it again. down here to the end I want a, a little uh, vertical collar if you will uh, to come down before the uh, taper starts and uh, so you'll see me uh, come in with the uh, carriage feed and the longitudinal cut for a little bit at the end here and uh, get that collar started here's that here that goes and then from here I just Continue the cut with the crossfeed, or excuse me, the compound to get the uh, continuous thing there. I did two passes. All right, a little polish with the emery cloth, trying to clean up the finish. Now it's time to cut it off. I flipped it over in the chuck and clean up the bottom. I actually want to put a little uh, recess on the bottom so that uh, only the outer edge, the outer quarter inch or so, um, makes contact with the surface. That way it's less likely to get caught on a chip and uh, wobble. So you see me cutting the recess here. Now I'm going to center drill and drill the hole through the rest of the way. I only want threads about halfway through the jack stand 
and uh, so this hole is connecting up with the hole I cut in the top and, and threaded and I'm going to expand this hole big enough to uh, let the bolt come all the way down in there. Just a little chamfer to clean up the bottom. Then I came back through and uh, just cleaned up the threads to make sure there was no burrs or anything at the bottom of that hole since I drilled into the bottom of the thread hole. It was about a quarter inch or so to complete that hole. Now it's time to make the bolt. I started with uh, some 10, 10, 18 steel, about one inch thick, or I think it's 13, 16 thick to start. I turned it the uh, outside diameter of the bolt head and then measured and started to cut down the, the threaded portion. And you'll see it took a number of passes to get down to what I thought was the right uh, cut blank diameter. Broke out the uh, die and uh, went ahead and threaded the bolt. up the bottom of the bolt head here just a little bit. See the uh, cut and try to polish the uh, side of the bolt head here. Now it's time to cut off the bolt. I flipped it around, just held it by the bolt head to clean up the top. And I actually used the compound here to cut a small um, taper, just a very shallow taper so that the very top center is the only spot that would cut uh, t contact a uh, surface I'm trying to level. Well, here's my first attempt at a jack stand. And uh, first thing I discovered right away is that these teeth are... I made the uh, diameter of the um, bolt here just a little too small. So you can see it just too much rattle in there. So the threads are right, but the uh, 7 16 14 threads. But um, what I ended up doing, I looked on the internet, thought I found the right pitch diameter, which I believe was supposed to be the diameter of the, of the blank before I cut it. And um, Anyway, this is too narrow, so that's flopping around in there. So I'll probably make another one. I'll do it exactly the same, so I will do it off camera, but uh, and I'll show you the end, finished product at the end. I think it'd be a good idea to drill a hole through the ear so I can put a screwdriver in for fine tuning, but if it's under load. 
Anyway. Poof. And through the magic of television, there are now two. So, uh, I took a quick measurement here just to see what the final result ended up being in difference. Uh, the original one I made was, if we turn that on, um, was about just about 400. And this one is now 425. So it's a little bit bigger in diameter. Uh, surprisingly, there's still room in this uh, jack stand for this to wobble around a bit. So, probably could have made it even bigger. As a matter of fact, I actually stopped and tried to thread this at a slightly bigger size and uh, couldn't manually get the uh, die to start. So, I took a little bit off and that turned out to cost me still a little bit more. Uh, a, a little bit more precision in, in the adjustment of this thing. But, it uh, still turned out better than the last one and only about an hour's worth of work. Now if you look real close, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, you can see the, the difference in the threads in there. So these are definitely deeper threads, come more to a point. These are uh, cut off at the top. So, that's the project. Hope you enjoyed it.